when I first started working at Cafea, that coffee was still this kind of, you know, this new phenomenal thing that had like endless treasures that you could mine. And then you get really familiar with it. You have a lot of coffee. So coffee becomes something that you, you still enjoy coffee, but it becomes really scientific. We used to roast based on just sensory stuff. So we would roast and listen for when the coffee was actually cracking. We would examine it by sight. So when is it turning brown? It happens around like 300 degrees. And all of this stuff was fairly subjective and you were doing science. And then as we got the ability to acquire tools to actually take readings on all of this stuff, we, we got to this point where we can start making significant strides forward in quality and they're not accidental. We always know why. So our equipment that we're installing at Dolly can tell me it's the tenth of a milliliter how much water came out to brew my coffee. And I can then taste that and tell you exactly why it tastes, how it tastes. Everybody drinks coffee. Our goal was really to showcase what coffee can actually be. Coffee is such an experiential thing. It, it's tied always to a location, to an environment. A good cup of coffee can be really tasty, but a good cup of coffee is so much so much more than that. It's the experience of everything that's happening. To have businesses like First Bank and Trust and Cafe that are geared towards people. We wanna help people. We wanna, we wanna do stuff with people. We wanna spend time with people. We wanna provide services to people, increase their happiness and enjoyment and joy uh, in whatever ways that we can. So to design a space from the get-go that's meant to do that collectively, is fascinating and has been an adventure. We love our coffee. We, we really, really love our coffee, but we're never satisfied with how good our coffee is. 